everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion. Tries to redeem himself at Cuphead. So we got other enemies that we could be fighting, I think. Um, like, I'm trying to think of the bosses I've done and not done. Well, the easiest way to redeem ourselves, I think, would be here, uh... We go, well, first, what are you saying? What are you looking at? My chip? Ha! It's not my fault. I've been busy fighting off those casino debtors. Now I gotta save up to have my blade fixed. So help me, I wish someone would bust that King Dice one. Excuse me, sir? This is, in my opinion, the hardest of all the boss fights that I've experienced on the first, you know, act of the game. So, we're pretty much right down into it here. It's this... Samba-ing flower that does a completely non-double entendre-esque thing. And if... Ooh, if you think that he's doing something that looks gross when he uh, cranks his crank and starts firing bullets at you that rain down from above. You're the sicko. But I f the good news is, I fought this guy enough that I may actually, at this point, be like the most well-suited to fight him. Again, this is the last dude that I fought off camera. So as from this point onwards, it's all gonna be stuff I've never seen, I think. So, oh, it dashed right into him like a complete idiot! That's just a bad move. So he's got these, like, piranha plants that fly around. He creates... Oh my god. He creates these stupid flying seeds that drop seeds on you. And just in general, he's a big old butthead about a lot of stuff. That was not a good fight, but we actually made it relatively far in, to be honest with you. My whole plan here is like, build super so that it, when you're on the final phase of him, you can just dust him like instantly. The animations on this guy are so good. Alright, we got our first level of super. Dude, you think he's doing something lewd there? What is wrong with you? It's just a video game animation. No, that was so dumb. I was actually safe and I moved out of it. I brain flooded myself, as the kids are calling it. Thank God. I really like knocking out the, the floating seed. Not because of the fact that the seed itself is that difficult, but because... Or the, the things it drops are that difficult, but it stops you from having, like, verticality on your dodges, which is wicked annoying. Alright, so we're at, like, fourth level of EX here. These things will... Uh... Die on their own, by the way, those like piranha oh you moron. <laughs> you piranha plant uh the, the piranha plant dudes. This is where it gets difficult as heck. Yep. Oh da, 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 da. so he makes two platforms uninhabitable. When he makes two platforms uninhabitable, um you just jump to the third one and smack him. No 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 no. That was a controller mishap. It's my mistake. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. He does all the wrong things at exactly the wrong time. He's on his third attempt to be this boss. Please wait to be this boss. Alright, we're racking up the damage. Try to take care of the ones on the ground as well. This guy's gotta go. He's gotta go. I, I missed him completely. Oh, by the way, I think he drops the things that you're supposed to parry if you want to hit the parry count on this level. Which is unlikely. I'll be happy to just get through it. Also, uh, playoffs, I'm just hoping we can win a game. Nice, well done. Keep it up. Again, this is the redemption episode. The first episode was the embarrassing episode. This is the redemption episode. That's alright. See, this is what I mean, like, where he, like, makes it tough to jump! Oh, I tried to be a moron, man, and I got what I deserved. That's alright. We're hitting him with the super. No. No. He's done it. He's done it. He lived. There's our other parry option right there. Let's pay attention. Pay attention. We have done it. Okay. Thank God that uh, 
that thing didn't hit me at the end. I mean, it totally hit me, but thank God collisions are turned off. Ooh, <laughs> let's not talk about my score there. I'm thinking we're probably gonna be in like the C range. Double skill level though. B minus, dude, lucky us. Okay, so that ended up not being too, too bad, but I'm still a little embarrassed if I'm being honest. Either way, we have now built a staircase that allows us to go hang out with Dice Man. I gotta take a look at our card for where we are right now, by the way. Like, who have we, uh, who do we have left here? There's two bonuses we have not faced, or two bosses we have not faced, sorry. Where could they be? Um, we went around that way. Maybe we can come around and go to, like, the Smithsonian up here? Not yet. Maybe we gotta kill Dice Man and then we can go to the Smithsonian? Hello, Dice Man. The Die House. That's not a disconcerting name. I will speak to you. Sorry I shot you. Well, look at what the cat dragged in. You think you're just gonna ankle on over to the next aisle? Well, that ain't how it works, genius. You ain't going nowhere till you finish up here. That means giving them debtors their medicine. All of them. Now scram. This song actually has lyrics. <laughs> I ain't gonna let you pass cause you ain't done everything. Okay. We gotta find a route up to the Smithsonian, as mentioned. No, I don't want to fight this way again. So I want to go to Cupcake Land, but it's not available to us. There's one level up there. Like, we definitely want to speak to that guy. How does one do that? Well, maybe we'll find out. We can't go back that way. Ruse of an Ooze. I had no idea that this was an actual boss fight. <laughs> I thought that this was just a tree. Hello, sir. Completely not at all related to the property of the slime from the company Onyx. Enix? It's spelled Enix, but it's said Onyx. Thank God for this dash, my dudes. Okay. You know what? We should be rolling some homing, because we're, uh... Not facing this guy at all times. I thought he was using a lighter. He's created confusion! To make it harder for me to use my homing shots. Very clever. Oh lord, okay. Come on, blue slime man. No chance. No chance on planet Earth. This must be phase two. Never gonna get it like that. I know, I'm saving up the super. I really thought the dash might serve me well there. So I guess the idea is maybe we can double jump it. Or sorry, jump it. <laughs> and if we can't jump it, I guess we just gotta kind of like engineer him to stop in a position where he's a little easier for us to uh, avoid the, the thing to begin with. He's dead, but he's also a tombstone! Okay, I gotta admit, you got me. I thought I outsmarted you. And it turns out that I was the one who was outsmarted, but you know what? We got a strat already. So your boy ain't scared. Literally what you do, Geometry Wars, turn tail. Run away from me, baby. Uh, run away. Once he's done with this phase, temporarily you may be tempted. He's got a lot of HP relative to the other enemies, I think. Yeah, he's getting confusing now. I understand. Rinse and repeat. This guy doesn't seem that, that hard right now. Yeah, just stay away from that, obviously. Here we go. Second attempt. There's no shame in winning a boss fight on the second attempt. Fifth attempt. I think you get one restart and then one retry when you're like, ah, I took too much damage too early. After that, the shame starts to set in at one shame per reset.
Okay, so somehow our dodge managed to save us there. There's probably a much better solution. Alright, so now we know we got Tombstone coming up. Don't even waste your super. Use it now. I'm assuming that that didn't even work. I bet we have to shoot the cross on top. Maybe not. Okay, probably should have used your dash there. You got it, dude. He's getting faster. That just means he's closer to death. I played video games before. You can see his, his Oedipus is getting all cracked up there. And his Ludifisk is getting all cracked up. Alright, not my best performance, but look at that. Easy win, and he's going to give me the keys to get the rest of World 1 done here in Episode 2. No parries. What was... What does he do that's parried? I actually don't know. I don't remember seeing anything pink. Maybe you can parry the glove. Maybe that's the secret. Alright. Goopy Legrand. We got one left, I think, if we peruse our list here. Yeah, one left. That's not a bad report card, dude. A, B minus, question mark, B minus, A minus, B, B minus. You know, you're not becoming a Rhodes Scholar with those marks, but that's not that bad. What's that? You two want to fly in a plane like I do? Ha! You're not sitting in any cockpit until you study those blueprints. An aeroplane blueprint. Hold X for rapid fire. Okay. Press at any time to nullify or interact with pink objects. Shrink. Hold to reduce size and increase speed. I see. I see. I see. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's go. I had no idea that this was in the game, but I played a lot of Bart's Nightmare. So we should be set. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it's an airplane section. Threaten in Zeppelin. I would say that it is probably an aerial section. Okay, so don't forget about mini mode. Whoa. Don't forget about your special. And try to parry three times. What's going on? Ooh, I should have known, dude. It is now an angry sheep. Don't forget about those parries, my dude! Increase speed. You get increased speed when you go miniature. That was just embarrassing. Try this again. Don't even start with me that you're, you're a wimp, you're a blimp sort of deal, okay? This ain't your daddy's splatoon. Now that I know not to stand in the middle of that attack, it certainly seems a lot easier to avoid it now. Okay, that should have definitely gone miniature and then gone out of the way. I think we got very lucky to not get hit by that one. Alright, better. We're building up this super. Should have been full tornado to begin with with that one. Or sorry, full miniature to begin with. Nah. Oh, we're a missile? That seems sweet. And now we're trapped up here. That is less sweet. That's right, you crashed through those. Okay, now you are Cupid. The other reason to parry, by the way. Not just to nullify damage. But you also build a, a free level of super off of it. Might not seem that valuable, but who knows? Miniature! Good, good, good. Fly that missile in there. No! She outsmarted me. I didn't think such a thing was even possible. She's dead. She's dead. That, this is the... Excuse me? Well, if you ask me how I expected that level to go, I did not expect to get zapped in the face by uh, an alien, but here we are. I think we got the keys, though. Still, though, I think the difficulty is honestly pretty fair. Apparently, it gets much more difficult later. 
Like, everybody that's been, like, I've been steamrolling the first section of the game, myself included, is now looking a little silly. No chance. No chance. I've been dodging those shots, like, as the day is long. Nice try. Almost got full super. Full super. Don't let her hit you. Don't let her hit you. Get a little invincibility out of that, too. Alright, so she's out. Turns herself into Cupid, and we immediately get hit by one of those stars. And then the arrow itself. Okay, probably not my finest moment. Because there's no way that I know of to regenerate HP, we're in kind of a tight spot here. Should probably just buy the extra HP from the shop, even though it makes you uh, a little weaker. Like, it makes your, uh, your damage itself not great. I don't think you hit her yet. I think you wait till she becomes the moon. And then you just fully dust. No, no UFOs, please. Oh! I want to beat this boss with 3 HP, and then we'll go grab the 4th HP. I think it's compulsory at this point. I'm being a very silly boy. It's like Hollow Knight, you know? Lose on the easy ones, do well on the tough ones. For whatever reason. My brain is programmed to be counter to the norm. To a false. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Okay. I don't know if the green ones shoot pink shots or if the pink shots just come out at random. Much better. Seems like random, because that was a pink shot right there. This is fine. Actually fine so far. These are new. Kind of lost myself there for a second. It happens. HP 1? I probably took some contact damage as well. Ooh, HP 1. Don't sweat it. HP 1. Please. Don't do me like that. You ever hear the expression, John Cougar Mellencamp, don't do me like that? I'm hopeful that that'll shorten the length of time that she exists in moon phase, but I am cognizant of the fact that that's probably not the case. So I think we gotta, like, bait the UFO, and then go... <laughs> you lost too soon, and I was only half moon! No, 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 Don't even sweat it, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. we're not doing it like that. We're not doing it like that. I don't have any airplane, special airplane guns. There you go. That's how you do it. It's Friday night, and I feel all right. The party's here on the west side. I am on the west side of the screen, if you assume that the upper side is north. It's two parries. You know what? Just, like, get dusted highly. That was very stupid of me to stand there, but... We were pretty efficient through the early game. The green ones shoot spread shots, okay? Oh, you are an actual idiot. You are a dumb idiot, man. How are you expecting the beater? You don't even live long enough to learn the UFO pattern. This is this is okay. This is still okay. It got a lot less okay for about a second there. Then went back to being okay. There's like a power ranking here. If you get hit by the by the Haas, you might as well restart. If you get hit by the sheep, you're okay in my book. What about an EX shot breaking the UFO? Nope, he just fires like at a specific point. Maybe when he starts tracking you, you get like a quarter of a second or something. Oh, hello. No UFOs, please?
Boy's back. What are you doing there? No! Oh, we've done it! Okay, okay, okay. A walk in the park is the achievement I just got, which I think definitely fits the bill for what we've done so far. Ooh, minute 53. Got three parries, six supers, two skill level, whatever. That, I guess that's because we're doing it on regular instead of uh, simple. That makes sense. All right, so we got another A for our report card. We can finally get everywhere we want to go. Hildeberg. At least that's not Hilda Dion, remember? It's an NLSS joke. Hello, Tomo. Welcome to the office. Now, Dice Man, what do you got to say? We got a fully completed list, my dude. Should probably stop saying my dude. You want to say my dude now? Come on. Come on. Come on. Hello, buddy. Okay. Well, ain't that a pip? Because the pips are the things on dice. Looks like you really put the kibosh on them debtors. You can head on over to the next aisle. Plenty more marks for you to lean on there. He's done it. Aisle two. Menswear. Guys, hang on. Thank the stars I caught up with you. I believe I found a way out of this mess you're in. Hot dog, you have? Your strength is growing. You'll soon be a match for that no good dice king and maybe even the devil himself. I do, but you'll never get close to the devil unless you already have those soul contracts in hand. Only then will you get a chance to turn the tables on that fiend, so when the time comes, do the right thing. We could maybe light side, dark side ending or something? Alright, let's try to surmount one more level here. In world two. Gotta start with cupcake level. Sugarland shimmy. Let's do it. Baroness von Bonbon. Okay. She's gotten so... Okay, okay. Homing shots, please. I will say this waffle is like the first asset I've seen that looks sorta out of place. But I also should point out, your boy knows nothing about art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. She's like, hey man, I was gonna eat that. Well, you should have thought of that before you turned it into a weapon of murder. So we got little gumball boys down here at the base level. Not a huge fan of what's going on right now. Not a whole lot of real estate with which to dodge, but I think we're doing okay. Cool. We also got that super around us. Jawbreaker. That's also Pac-Man. Oh, hello. So we should just maybe use the super every time it's available now. Okay, uh, things get a little trickier towards the end there, but we were doing pretty well. Don't forget about the, the opportunity to parry as well. Ooh, many different candies. That's interesting. I was really thinking, you know, we got that waffle sorted out no problem. Okay, candy corns. Not necessarily proving more difficult. But you gotta learn sometime, right? No, don't waste your shield, dude. The shield's crushing it. He's dusted. Easiest money ever made. No Mr. Gumball, please? Send me a waffle. No, don't waste the shield. <laughs> it's not a waste if it's doing damage, I suppose, but it's a very... That's big of you to think that way. Perhaps the final wave? Waffle. Not that bad. Now we gotta watch out. I know you can... Oh, the... You can stop the cotton candy. Of course, I'm sure you can parry the pink one as well. No! I forgot that he pulled him back. We were so close to greatness, or were we? Maybe we're only close to the fourth phase there. We got this, we got this. Don't even sweat it. Okay, we're starting with Mr. Waffle. We could switch weapons for our super if we wanted to. Kind of thinking, like, 
the right play is when he's out of your line of sight, use the homing. When he's in your line of sight, use the uh, the higher damage weapon. All right, easiest money ever made. Get our shield going. No Mr. Gumball, please. Give me candy corn. What is this? I am an idiot for doing that, but... I thought this was Cuphead, not Cupcake. Uh... I don't even know what I got hit by there. I might have walked into the castle. This guy's no problem. The cotton candy and the weird little bonbons that are not being shaken, which must annoy, annoy Ricky Martin. Get sorted. New shield. Okay. She's got a bone to pick. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so we should get off of that thing as soon as possible. We're so close, though. I can smell the redemption. We built an unbelievable amount of super there. Some of the easiest money ever made in planet Earth's young history. As Blue Baby floats away to the top there. Okay, Mr. Waffle, not that bad. Mr. Waffle, you're the one. You make boss time sort of fun. So that's, you know, you can't teach that. That's 28 years of wasted recreational time to get that kind of low-key dodge in there. So, all right, we still got two HP. So we got our final uh, stinky man. It's Cupcake, bro. Just doing some of the world's most high-octane dodges. Yeah, I stepped on a jelly man. That's what's causing me problems there. She's shooting some cotton candy. No jelly man? We gotta be very careful about standing close to the... close to the danger zone there. All right, so the castle starts to hunt us down. Whoa! Whoa, okay. This is actually like substantially more difficult than I expected. By the way, I never went back and bought the HP. I was so excited that I finished the plane. I was like, what do we need the HP for? Well, the answer is so we don't die as easily. So after this fight, where I, I also have this, you know, I got a pride issue, I think. After this fight where I prove that I can defeat the Princess of Cupcakes with 3 HP, like a true gamer with real street cred. That's not what I, I meant to have the shield, but I had the wrong weapon out. Mr. Gumball. I do not like you, Mr. Gumball. But we'll just pop off. It worked. Wow, just like, Mr. Gumball's not that bad in hindsight. What do we got, Waffle? Waffle? No, you poor fellow. Maybe we can save every single bit of our HP. Or of our super, I should say. And our HP, ideally, but our super first and foremost. To use, to use on the, uh, the final stage of this fight. No, get out of here, candy. Candy clouds. See, this... What is a boy to do? What is a boy to do about that? We're gonna exit to map, because you know what? What a girl wants, what a girl needs, whatever makes her happy sets me free, and I'm thanking you for showing exactly. Christina Aguilera, but also words to live by. We're gonna go back to World 1, we're gonna purchase an HP upgrade. Even if it makes our shots weaker. I think we need a little bit more HP to carry us through the, the game here. We're trying to be, uh, you know, a big shot. Go pick up this HP upgrade, you silly, silly boy. Gives you more time for learning patterns in the early game as well. There you go. Coffee. Autofill meter. Auto parry. That's not bad, I think, but you only get one slot for specials, so I really like the dash. I use the dash quite often. Probably not as often as I should, but 
I do use it quite often. It is the Cuphead song for the first world. You are a little baby. Learning the rules of Cuphead Sword, except you're not mandated to parry. Now you're on the second world of Cuphead, things are... So okay, we're not gonna... I don't have the, I don't have the lyrical capacity. Excuse me, 3 HP? I didn't equip it. It's a, it's a passive we've got to equip. I really thought that we were just set. You know what? That's good. That's good. It teaches me that there's no, uh... There's no easy way out. There's no shortcut home. Just like the Rocky IV soundtrack inspired me to believe as a youngster. I like fighting Cupcake Man first, because even he tries to like space us out. Close gaps. Turns out that's not actually that hard to uh, avoid when there's no jelly men coming out from the you know, the walls here. Like that guy, for example. So definitely phase one cupcake is fine by me. The jelly men also like super hard counter homing, it feels like. All right, who's the final one? Let's get a little shield going here. Just dodge the gum. As long as you dodge the gum, you're in, like, easy street. No, I jumped into the gum. All right, well, we're gonna get one chance here. Pretty sweet. Good lord, dude. We gotta go to homing shots. He's doing it. I know that I can't hear you live at home, but I know that's what you're saying. You're saying he's doing it. He has done it. No doing it about it. Ooh. Things are getting a little scary there for a minute, but we pulled it through in the clutch. No parries, so I think we're getting we're in like full C plus territory. Ooh. Always underestimated a little bit, but hey, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed episode two of Cuthead, Cuphead. Not Cuthead. It's the gory sequel. We'll be back to play some more tomorrow. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out an enormous deal. Subscribe if you want to be notified when these go live. Or just do it because you like it. And then beyond that, pick up Cuphead on Steam if you're interested in playing it for yourself. Great game located in the video description below. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.